Hello and welcome to the Daily Med. Daily Med, a medicine channel for medicine lovers. In this video, we are going to talk about Is COVID-19 really near? What is the difference between airborne transmission and droplet transmission of COVID-19? Which one is dangerous? If COVID-19 really airborne, is it everywhere? What are the high risk places that we need to avoid? Why World Health Organization needs to revise on airborne transmission? Is there really a need for N95 mask? What precautions do we need to take? So these are the headlines of our today's video. 239 scientists in 32 countries have outlined the evidence showing that smaller particles of COVID-19 called aerosol can infect people. They are calling World Health Organization to revise its recommendations on transmission of COVID-19. That COVID-19 not only has big particles but also smaller particles which are infecting humans. COVID-19 spread depends on particle size, either it is aerosol or droplet, and it spreads while we cough, speak, or sneeze. To understand it more clearly, we should know what is an aerosol and a droplet. Droplets As the name suggests, it drops as it is generated. Droplets are greater than 5 micrometer diameter and can travel not more than 6 feet distance. And that is why maintaining 6 feet distance was made necessary during this global pandemic. Examples of droplet infections include rhinovirus infection, adenovirus infection, haemophilus influenza, mumps, parvovirus, streptococcus throat infection, and many other. Whereas aerosol, as the name suggests, they can remain suspended in air for longer time. Aerosols are less than 5 micrometer diameter and can travel greater than 6 feet distance. Examples of some aerosol infection include tuberculosis, measles, chickenpox, smallpox, Ebola, and certain coronaviruses. Till now, the majority of transmission of COVID-19 that is 80 to 90 percent is through either droplet nuclei or either transmission through formite such as clothes, utensils and furniture and only 2 to 5 percent through aerosol transmission. But the aerosol transmission is not everywhere and is very minimum as compared to the droplet infection. The major areas which are highly susceptible to aerosol transmission are the hospitals. So avoid going to the hospital and go only if necessary or when having an emergency. If it is so necessary to go to the hospital, wear a N95 mask. Properly sanitize yourself after coming back to your home and take bath immediately better if you can keep your clothes that you have worn in the hospital outside your home to take covid-19 till now that it is in the air is still impractical to take unless more researches come out thanks for watching daily math like comment share and subscribe daily med for timely updates and press the bell icon